Hi, did you know that in FY 1920, close to 65% of cash payments towards GST came from taxpayers with an aggregate turnover of more than Rs 100 crore? So if you want to know the modes commonly opted by businesses for GST payment and for you to make the best choice, this video will help you. This steps broadly begins with assessing the tax amount that needs to be paid in cash after considering the ITC set-off. Followed by this, generate GST Chalan on the GST portal either by logging in or without two. For this, enter tax details to be paid in cash and choose one of the four modes of payment to create the Chalan. A 14-digit CPIN, that is, Common Portal Identification Number, is generated which will be valid for 15 days to complete your GST payment. Upon completing the payment through the selected mode, a 17-digit Chalan Identification Number or SIN number is issued. Thereafter, the electronic cash ledger balance gets updated automatically. Before I proceed, please subscribe to ClearTax channel and press the bell icon to receive updates about the videos on taxes and finance we upload daily. Now let's look into the process of payment in detail. Which mode of payment to choose for GST? Meet the right choice of payment mode while generating GST Chalan in form PMT06. It depends upon how much time is left to file GST returns before the due date, your convenience, the bank through which you transact and so on. Let's take a quick look at the different payment modes and compare them. Online Payments Net Banking Debit Card or Credit Card Online payment mode implies payment made through internet banking or debit card or credit card. You can use any of these modes to make payment of GST with or without logging into GST portal. In these modes, there is a selected list of banks that GST portal allows you to pay from. Choose the bank and make the payment online using card or net banking instantly. Thereafter, your cash ledger gets automatically updated. Here, note that if you are generating Chalam without logging in, then ensure to complete the payment immediately. Offline payments, over the counter, that is check, DD or cash, and NEFT or RTGS. Go for these options when your bank's name is not reflected in the list of banks for net banking or card payment or you want to pay GST via demand draft, cash or check. Either with or without logging in, generate a chalam. Take a printout of it, fill in depositor and instrument details, sign and submit it to the bank for completing the payment. In case of over-the-counter or OTC, banks will process the instruments in a day or two and your cash ledger gets updated with the amounts. Note that the maximum amount of GST that you can pay via over-the-counter or OTC is Rs 10,000. So if the amount exceeds this limit, then go for other modes. If you have chosen RTGS or NEFT as payment mode while generating the Chalan, then take the printout of Chalan, fill in certain details, sign it and submit the same to bank. Banks will process it and it will issue UTR number within few hours. Thereafter, log into the GST portal and link the UTR number against the particular Chalan. Your cash ledger gets updated. Now that you have made the choice of GST payment mode, let's look into the steps on how to generate GST Chalan. There are two ways to generate GST Chalan. Either you can log into the GST portal or you can generate Chalan without logging into GST portal. There's not much of a difference between the two ways. If you choose to generate Chalan before logging in, enter GSTIN or other IDs such as ID of temporary user or tax return preparer or UN body. You need to re-enter GSTIN or ID before generating Chalan. However, if you choose to generate Chalan after logging into GST portal, you can find the button Create Chalan on your dashboard itself. The rest of the steps to fill the details and generate Chalan remain common. For that, enter the amounts in respective heads. Choose the payment mode that suits you. If you choose net banking, click on the generate Chalan. CPIN gets generated. Finish the payment after you have generated the Chalan using the pre-login feature. Otherwise, if you have generated Chalan after logging into the GST portal, then you can wait for up to 15 days to complete the payment, the steps of which I'll be sharing in the next section. If offline mode such as OTC or NEFT or RTGS is chosen, enter bank details where cash is to be deposited or remitted and click on Generate Chalan. Your CPIN gets generated with the Chalan copy. The Chalan gets saved automatically. You now have time up to 15 days to complete the payment via offline modes, the steps of which I'll be sharing in the next section.
Now, suppose any details in the chalan are incorrect and you haven't made the payment yet, then you must freshly generate a new chalan with correct particulars. You don't have to take action on the old chalan because it automatically expires after 15 days. To track the payment status, CPIN or Common Portal Identification Number must be used. Meanwhile, if you are finding this video useful, then please like and share my video. Now let's move on to the next, that is, how to complete the GST payment at a later date. To complete GST payment later on against a chalan that was generated earlier, first, if the payment mode is net banking or via debit card or credit card, log in to GST portal. Go to Chalan History available under Payment option by clicking on Services. Click on the hyperlink against the appropriate CPIN. Select the banks listed for card payment or net banking and finish the payment. Receipt gets generated with SIN, that is Chalan Identification Number upon successful payment. Cash ledger gets updated immediately. Second, for over-the-counter payment mode. Fill up the remaining particulars asked on the Chalan manually with the authorized person's signature. Submit it to the bank you earlier chose while generating Chalan along with the check or DD or cash. In a day or two, your electronic cash ledger gets updated with the payment. Third, for NEFT or RTGS payment mode. Fill up remaining particulars asked on Chalan including RTGS or NEFT mandate such as depositor details, check details and sign on it manually. Submit it to the remitting bank you earlier chose while generating Chalan along with the check or by using account debit facility. In two hours, the bank will process this and you will receive unique transaction number, that is UTR number, and SIN, that is Chalan identification number, on your registered email ID or mobile number. Next, log into the GST portal, go to the Chalan history, click on the hyperlink against the appropriate CPIN, then enter the UTR number and click on link UTR. The cash ledger gets updated. Follow up with your banker if you've initiated payment with a bank and GST portal shows the status as awaiting bank confirmation or awaiting bank clearance. If you have completed the payment successfully and got a confirmation from the bank, but still the electronic cash ledger does not get updated, then you have to submit the grievance in form GST PMT 07 on GST portal. To read through the steps in detail, visit the page link given in the description box below. And if you have any questions, Feel free to post them in the comment section. We'll be happy to take them up. Thank you.